What you're looking at in front of you is a hydrofoil chassis that I've been working on. What we're going to do today is take this hydrofoil chassis out and test it behind the boat by dragging it. We're going to attach the kayak to the top of that frame, hook a tow rope up to that, and we're going to drag it just to see how well this hydrofoil system works. Look how nice it rises up. Nice, that's foiling out and riding above the water. By using foils, a hydrofoil style foil, I was able to put together a simple prototype here to show you how we could generate energy from those slow, almost no drop hydroelectric flows. And here it is, it's just a simple system. It has a foil, a hydrofoil down at the bottom, a flywheel style design to help carry that energy through. We've just had some linkage rods, very similar to an old school style steam engine or something similar to that. And what's gonna happen here is this, if we're gonna put it down into the water, the water's gonna immediately change the angle of that foil to one direction or the other due to the flow pressing against the foil. So let's say the foil turns to this direction first. That water flow coming against the foil is going to deflect off of it, creating a force against that that drives that foil down. When it gets down to the bottom of its flow down here, what it's going to do is hit against a little, basically it's an angle changing piece that's just going to bump the end of it and change the angle of the foil. So it's now going up. So it's coming down, the force is hitting it, driving the rod down. As it comes to the bottom, it's going to hit against just a little piece that's going to change the angle of the foil. Now the water hitting into the new angle of the foil is now going to drive a force against that. The deflection is going to make sure that rod goes up. And once again to the top, just going to hit against something that changes the angle of the foil, go down, and then back up again and over and over again. Actuate this real quickly for you so you can see the, the two different hydrofoils. The one in the back has got a bit of a shadow on it, but I'll show you that up close here in a moment. The nice thing about an engine like this is that those hydrofoils are giving power to the flywheel on both the up and the down of each one of their strokes. Hi folks, Mr. Tessalonian here. What you're looking at in front of you is an invention I've been working on called Hydro Skates. They're basically a hydrofoil water skate instead of an ice skate or rollerblade system. But with this design, you're going to take much longer strides with your steps, more like a stair stepper style action with it. And as you do so, you're going to gain not only lift up out of the water, but forward momentum at the same time. Now I've showed you some other videos where I show you how a hydrofoil can do this. Right now all I want to do is just push it down and show you that we gain a forward momentum by just pushing it down. See it takes off forward, I pull it up, it's going to go even further forward. Hi folks, Mr. Tesslonian here. Throughout a series of videos I've showed you the progression of an idea. Today I want to show you a fully working model that we're going to go out and test here in just a couple weeks. This was the simplest design that I could come up with that would function pretty well and generate power from something as simple as a moving water flow. Real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and just oscillate through this cycle and show you how this works. That's the top end of our cycle, and you'll notice there's about a five degree down angle to our hydrofoil, which once again, the water flow hitting our hydrofoil at five degrees is gonna bring it back down. Let it's down again, water is gonna lift it back up, down, up, down, up. All right, so here we go. I want to show you that with just simple motion, I can get our boat going here really easily. So here we go, from a standstill. You can see I'm just moving this back and forth. Nice and slow, very little energy. In fact, I'll hold it with just my thumb and my first finger. You notice I can get myself going pretty well with that. It's a nice design for creating forward propulsion. And right now I'm using the long sweep. We don't have any of the clamp shut down. Today what I'm gonna do is show you a twin hydrofoil propulsion system that I've been working on for a kayak. Right here we have one of the hydrofoils hooked to one of the arms that sits inside of an electric trolley motor mount that mounts to the back of the boat. So it's not working too bad. As you can see, we've gained a little bit more velocity from it. Definitely need some work with the cables and the ropes that I've got adjusted to it to get them a little tighter right now. Other than that, it's working. 